Hello and welcome to Library Drawing Party. Today we're going to be drawing this beautiful horse. To get started, let's work on the center of the horse by starting with the belly. So we're going to have this half circle and then let's work on the back legs. So we have some diagonal lines and then it makes almost an S shape. And then another S shape on this side. And it gets thinner as it goes down. The front part of, or the hoof of the horse is getting cut off by the grass. So we don't need to worry about drawing that in. And then let's work on the front back leg. So this has a similar shape. This leg is standing straight. So we don't need quite as much diagonal lines. We want more straight lines. Then we want the back of the horse have that half circle like the belly but it comes out a little bit in front of the belly. Now let's work on the front leg. So this is the one on the right hand side of the horse. So it also has that S shape. And then a little bit more of a straight line. And then the front left leg. This is going to be like the back leg where it's a little bit straighter because there's less angles. You want to make sure that your hooves are all going to be about the same distance. And then there's a neck here. And a strong jawline that goes down to where the hoofs are because that's where the ground is. And half circle. And the rest of the neck. Yeah, I'm just going to hint at the eyes right now. Then let's draw the tail. So we're going to have very long lines. And there's going to be some shadow closest to the back legs. Alright, let's work on the hair for the mane. So this horse has blonde hair, but you can use brown hair or black hair. Or even experiment and use different colors like blue. We want to have those nice lines. And if you're doing blonde, you want to keep this light so that we can add that yellow color afterwards. And I'm going to draw in some of this brown pattern in the fur. We have a couple of half circles here. And they come down the front leg. I'm going to fill that in with my light base coat. 
So we'll be layering colors on top. I'm going to fill in this piece that I worked on before. And let's add some color to the belly. You want the strokes to go in the direction of the hair. And horses have nice smooth hair. So we want these to be smooth lines. And then the back legs. Every horse in nature is going to look different. So if yours looks different than mine, that's perfectly normal. And then I'm going to add some color to the face. I'm going to add in some shadow in the legs, so I'll give it some texture. I'm using rougher lines here than I did for the main hair, because we're not going to be covering the whole thing in. Add some up here by the neck too, and the shoulders. Then I'm going to take a darker brown. I'm going to add in some more shadow. This brown has a lot of red in it. I'm going to smooth out some of those lines. Add a couple of lines to our tail. You want the tail lines to be really long in one continuous stroke. Then I'm going to take a dark brown with bluer notes and add that in. You want the colors to overlap a bit, but we do want to see all the variations that we're working so hard to create. That's what's going to make this horse interesting. You want to be strategic about where you place the shadows really highlight the horse's muscles. This is going to help bring the horse to life. Horses are very athletic creatures. We will make sure we capture that in our drawing. And while I'm using this dark brown, I want to work on the eyes. I'm just going to do a simple eye. We have the half circle, and then a full circle, and depending on where the horse is looking, we'll add those lines. And then we add in some tail lines. I'm going to take a sandy brown and start to blend everything together. You can use a medium weight when you're pressing down. You do want to layer a couple more colors on top. But things will start to come together at this point. look a little bit more cohesive. I'm 
and some in the tail. And this is a great color to use for blonde. So I'm going to go over the tips of the main hair and give it that color. Now I'm going to take a light brown and continue to blend you can use the full force of the pencil at this point I'm saving some highlights around the eye to really help bring it out At this point, you can go in and add some darker lines. Give some definition to the horse. I want to add in some more dark brown. Really help bring out those shadows. Once you're happy with your horse, then you can start working on the surrounding background. So let's take a light green and add that grass that the horse is munching on and standing in. We're going to add random grass patches. I do want to take a moment to strengthen my jawline of my horse. They have nice strong jaws. And the neck. And it comes down a bit more into that front leg. With some shadow. And the back leg has a bit more shadow. And there's a bit more muscle here. I'm going to take my light brown and fill in this patch here. And blend a bit more in the body. And add a bit more shadow underneath the back leg. And some in the front leg. So I'll help ground the horse. Okay, going back to the background, I'm going to add in the dirt that the grass patches are in. So I'm going to use some swirly lines here. We're scumbling. I'm 
This will blend the grass in with the dirt, give it some interesting texture. It'll also help tie the horses to the landscape. I'm going to go back and use my light green and add in some more grass. I'm going to take yellow and add in some yellow grass or some variation. And I'm going to mix that in with my dirt, almost like sand color. Add that into the grass that he's eating. Or she. And take my dark brown and add in some dark brown patches. This could be grass or dirt. You can even add in some rocks. You add in some circles. Scumble or mix in some of this dark brown with our dirt. I'm doing the swirly lines, keeping this nice and loose, almost like an impressionist style where we're focusing on the color and adding texture. Now right behind the horse is a bush. So I'm going to use my dark green pencil and I'm going to create all these V shapes for the leaves. You want there to be some variation, so you want some to be closer together, others to be a little bit farther apart. And there's another branch up here. And it goes down along the neck of the horse. And then there's some in the background here over here on this side you want it to be rounded but this is a wild bush so it's not going to be perfectly trimmed then we have some evergreens popping out on this side. So we have some diagonal lines, like a cross hatching technique here. We do one direction and then the other direction. I'm going to take my light brown we use for the horse to create some of the trunks in the background. You want to see the strokes because that's like the bark. You go on this side. And some smaller trunks. And then one off to the side. Maybe we have a tree over here that got cut off in my sample drawing. And then some smaller branches. And then Maybe there's some dirt that the bush is sitting on. It's 
take some light green and add in some highlights. We can go right over our bush, add in that extra green color. And add in some more grass in the background. And the trees. And take my dark green and some more leaves. What they'll use to be connected with the trunks and the branches. But we can use pretty loose color for this. This is not as defined as the horse. Maybe I'll add in another evergreen. Behind this tree. Add in some more branches. And the evergreen. And some more grass. And some light brown for the dirt. Mix that in with what we worked on in the beginning of the background. Add in some brown to our bush. For some branches or twigs. And some in these branches. And take a light blue and add that for the sky. More light green. Or just general forest leaves in the background. And there you have it. That's our horse. Thank you for joining us in this week's library drawing party. We have library drawing parties every Wednesday at 7 p.m. And keep being creative.